Today I'll be talking about angular momentum. The angular momentum L of a body rotating about a fixed axis is the product of the body's moment of inertia and its angular velocity with respect to that axis. So the angular momentum is equal to a moment of inertia times the angular velocity. And remember, angular velocity has to be in radians per second. And the units for angular momentum would be kilogram meters squared per second. There's also the uh, principle of conservation of angular momentum. The angular momentum of a system remains constant. In other words, it's conserved as long as there's no external uh, torque added to the system. Okay. So let's look at an example of that. An ice skater is spinning with both arms and legs outstretched. She pulls her arms inward and her spinning motion changes dramatically. How can we explain that using the conservation of um, momentum, angular momentum? Well, when she's spinning here, she has a low speed, angular speed, but a high moment of inertia. If momentum is conserved as she brings her arms in, I get smaller, so the speed has to go up. So that's a very simple example of conservation of angular momentum. All right, so let's try a mathematical um, example. An artificial satellite is placed in an elliptical orbit about the Earth. Its point of closest approach is 8.37 times 10 to the 6 meters from the center of the Earth. And the point greatest, of di greatest distance is 25.1 times 10 to the 6 meters from the center of the Earth. One is called the perigee, one is called the apogee. If we know the speed at the perigee to be 8450 meters per second, we want to know what the speed is at the apogee. So we know that the angular momentum to be conserved um, the momentum at the apogee has to equal to that of the perigee. So, conservation of um, angular momentum, apogee has to equal perigee. And we know that I, and this is a point mass, is equal to mr squared. And we know that omega is angular, so we have to replace it with its linear equivalent, the reason being is we were given the linear speed. So now we have the substitutions. And we can see what cancels out. So the mass remains the same on both sides, so we can get rid of that. And we can get rid of one of the r's. This r can cancel with one of these r's. So now we're left with this ratio. So if we want to stop for the speed at the apogee, all it is is this. So that's a very simple example of conservation of angular momentum. 